guys, it's Empty Room Ray Gaming, and welcome back to another episode of History Wave. And if she keeps making noise, she's going to be dragged into the episode. And that's all I can say. And someone hates getting dragged into episodes. Because they somehow magically lose their ability to talk. They talk extremely quiet, but when nothing's around, recording her. Instant loud. I want to swear so badly. Just the fact that me, sh that thing just literally robbed me. Anyhow, so yeah, one of the things I was going to talk about is parting ways with certain things throughout history it's always happened we've humanity's parted ways with so much of common knowledge our common sense physical sense and a lot of people seem to forget that and for instance when something's not there for let's say seven days randomly the people keep keep forgetting. So, what? Why did they do that? Well, my my opinion is they're just idiots who keep forgetting. But apparently, a lot of people seem to do it because they're idiots. Right, let's level you up. Like for instance, humanity, one of humanity's first pets, well, yeah, pets I would say, but creature they actually cared about was none other than a pet dog. They were saber tooth tigers, wolves, stuff like that, but the ones that we first cared about was pet dogs. And I am a dad's opinion about this. Why do you think the first pet humans rarely talk to were dogs? Because man used them for hunting. They meant used their abilities as wolves and that as a hunter. So would you say dogs nowadays are lazy since they get food put in bags for them? Some hard working, working dogs, but most of them are pets and luxury that sit around and get pampered. That's why they're called pampered people. Basically, my dad's trying to throw a jab at me because I'm sitting at the moment and not getting ready for work. Simple as. Okay, Grandma, since you had a big grin. What's your opinion then? Why do people try and put pet dogs or cats into clothes? Try to you wouldn't do anything like that, would you? Because that'd be inhumane to animals. PDSD. PDSD. 
as much as it is comfortable for the person, it's the same for the dog, cat, bird, mouse, rat, snake, monkey, whatever animal. People have pets because they give love and the sociable much more than other humans and therefore they expect nothing back but give unconditionally. Okay. Not my fault. You're just as bad as a, you know. So, yeah. Okay, then. What's your opinion on crossbreeding? Sociable, lovable animal. The cross is the species that it's created. As it's created, there's a monster. We didn't realise it's just going to keep on going. But the problem with crossbreeding and things like that tends to be that you can get the problems with the animals that you've never had before. And they could cause sociable problems, family problems. You could have uh, dogs that suddenly go off at the, the deep end and attack the children without, uh, without realising that you've read that. Okay, I know you're not, I know at times you're not the biggest fan of supernatural stuff because you prefer a scientific approach. What's your opinion on the mythical creature? The um, oh, what's, oh, I'm trying to think what it's called. It's from Mexico. The Cupacara. The Cupacara. The Jupacabra. What's your opinion on that then? Jupacabra. Right. So, but it's meant to be a crossbred of uh, a wolf and a coyote. <laughs> but on that note, since looking at really the time more than anything. Yeah. Well, that's So anyhow, on that note, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you have, please like, comment, subscribe. And, well, I'll catch you all next time. Bye.